Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing assumptions you guys have done about me on Instagram. If you guys remember, I think it was on our anniversary, I asked it on Instagram, pretty much make assumptions about me. And at the same time, I'm gonna be enjoying the new meal that McDonald's came out with. Let's just be honest, it's just them trying to hype meals up and making cash out of it. It's literally just fries, a Big Mac, and an Oreo shake. Nothing crazy, nothing super fancy. How many times have I said this, but McDonald's messes up your meal no matter what. Like, we were there and I got my, me and Myra two Big Macs and we ordered several food, whatever. We end up getting home, Myra's Big Mac is missing. What do you expect? McDonald's, right? Hmm. <sighs> Big Mac is always good. Oh, I totally forgot sauce. I'll probably tell Myra to bring me sauce right now. First question is, or assumption, tough guy but soft in the inside. And the same person actually asked, you cry at sad movies. Honestly, yeah, that's a really good. The whole thing almost came out. I have the spoon upside down again. Hmm. I'm amazed again. <laughs> Ice cream machine was working. Mm, mm, mm. But I definitely agree with that. I'm. I guess I could say as soon as people see me, they they have a certain feeling that like I'm mad or I'm just like I guess a little tough guy or whatever. I guess it is because I've heard it from several people after they meet me. They're like, oh yeah, like when I first met you, you just have that certain attitude or so even my actions. Like when I'm with friends, I'm kind of the one always backing them up if so, they get into like a little deal or whatever. Yeah, like I'm definitely I would say more of a soft guy on the inside. If you actually get to meet me or whatever, like I, I'm not. Not like super crazy or anything like that, but I definitely have that button you could definitely push if you take it to that limit. Also, do I cry on tad movies? Definitely. The Notebook, A Walk to Remember. Even it's funny, but like The Lion King, I remember that watching as a kid. I would cry when his dad would pass away. It was just. You know, another good movie you should definitely watch. I just watched it the other day. John Q. If you guys have not seen that movie, watch it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I got a text, Myra. I need some sauce. You have a private, unshared bank account without Myra. No. If anything, we're actually, since we do like the vlogs and like we're both kind of into it, like I edit it and break it down, whatever, we both film, whatever. We wanted to kind of make that account like as a shared account and then obviously like she has her own account and my, I still have my own account as well. But no, I don't have a secret bank account. You're easy going. I don't know. If I would look at myself and I guess judge myself as a certain person, I feel like I'm easy going. I'm not someone that's like very picky with certain things or, you know, I, I feel I'm pretty down to earth, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Bro, this Big Mac's already almost gone. Someone in the last video told me about this, putting the fries with the ice cream. I would do this at, again, upside down. In and out. Weird combination, but try it. It's, it's pretty good. You don't know how to drop start a car. Honestly, yeah, well, one, very quickly, just to answer the question, I know how to jump start a car. And I feel like those are certain things people could should kind of know, like how to change a tire or jump start a car or change the oil. And I know certain people are afraid of jumping a car because you could get electrocuted. It's just one of those things you kind of kind of have to know, I guess. I always carry jumper cables in the car just in case because I've done it before where I'm just driving and I see someone stuck in the freaking side of the road, their battery's dead. So you just give them a jump start and they're good to go. I don't think Myra's bringing my sauce, yo. And I feel like these fries have no salt in them. Like, are you kidding me? McDonald's, the more and more they just, it seems like McDonald's every time just lets me down for some reason, whether it's a missing item, something's wrong, I don't know. 
don't give you enough sauce. You are suffering from the inside but smiling on the outside because of your past. Honestly, I'm just gonna simply just say, not everybody's past is beautiful, neither is mine. But you just kinda have to live with that and go on, you know? Because at the same time, like, I, if you guys saw my uh, video from last time I was talking about where I was in a car and I was just losing myself, I guess you could say. You have to kinda get yourself together and especially having family and friends around you, that really helps. Or if anybody's really down to the ground, I guess you could say, oh, there's always like a hotline you could call. Definitely do that if you need it. Obviously, your past is still part of you, but you have to keep going and moving forward, I guess you could say, you know? Oh, this one says, your bra size is a double D. I don't know. <laughs> This one says you were born with money and only child one. No, I'm not the only child if you guys saw my past video with my brother Obviously, yeah, it's my brother blood brother, too. I know where he looked pretty much complete opposites <laughs> Dude, I keep on getting the food upside down, but yeah, that's my blood brother Mmm I just love ice cream. What did the other one say? Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't born with money. If you guys saw one of my other videos before, I, I'm gonna have to link like so many videos under this. My family went through a lot and my dad got deported. We had like no money. We lost our house. We moved into our grandparents. I was living in my car. It was just all bad. And I feel, <clears throat> to be honest, my family kind of was pretty much be living paycheck to paycheck kind of thing. And that's the reason why we lost a house because once my dad got deported, it's like, well, there goes the money. Not born with money. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to add some fries with, between all the layers. See this, do this. This is, if you order the epic monkey meal, this is what you get. Mm, mm. Much better. Mm. This one says you were popular at school in your school days. I would like to say from like elementary and middle school I was always that class clown always being loud and cracking jokes and then once I started high school It kind of changed because during that time like it's funny because I always hung out with older people like with my brother and his friends since me and my brother were like really close we always had kind of like the same friends once i started high school that's when my family was having a lot of problems so i was just kind of closed in and i just didn't want to do so much and i would remember i would get up early and i wouldn't want to be at school or i wouldn't want to be at home so i'll just grab my skateboard and like take off go skate for the freaking whole day i remember the school was calling my mom because i had so many absences i was ditching all my classes it was just Bad. Yeah, I would like to at least say like during elementary and middle school like I was just wild and out I guess you could say just cracking jokes and doing dumb funny stuff, whatever. Definitely high school changed a little bit Hmm Yeah, Myra's not coming with that sauce. I don't even think she saw her phone or something. Or, you know what's funny? Myra will be literally on her phone and someone will call her or message her, but she'll just totally avoid it just to be on Instagram or TikTok. This one says, you and Myra never fight. Honestly, in any relationship, no matter how you think your future is going to be perfect with them, you're going to get into some arguments. No one is perfect, but there's definitely a limit. Don't be that one person who's like, well, they hit me or they mistreat me or whatever it is and you stick in the relationship, no. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. You used to be a party animal. I don't know if you would call it a party animal or what, but I definitely was more of a party animal than what I am now. Mm, that's good. Like, it's crazy. I remember I would go to certain parties and before I would get to that party, I would buy myself a bottle of Swaza just for me. And like throughout the whole party, I'll just be walking around with that bottle of Swaza. And by the end of the night, I would finish it and still be getting other drinks or whatever from the party. Definitely, I have actually like calmed that down. And I guess that's why a lot of people say like, oh man, you could drink a lot and all that. Yeah, I, I would definitely say I can't drink like I was able to before. Who didn't like to party, you know? You have never smoked weed. What? Mm, 
One thing, this new is definitely going to be a little more filling than the Travis Scott one. Hmm. This one says, you like Myra more than Karina. Um, I'm not sure if people are still cold confused about Myra and Karina being one person or something like that. Because obviously, like, yeah, I, I'm married with Myra. I'm gonna like her more. Doesn't mean I don't <laughs> like Karina or I hate Karina. You get me? I don't know. That's just a weird question. Next one says, you love food. Definitely true. I, I love food. What can I say? Food is life. But also with that, I wouldn't say I'm picky with food, but there's certain things I just don't really mess with. A lot of seafood stuff I can't really do. There's only like, I could do like shrimp or lobster, crab. If you go to a sushi place, I could literally only do like certain little rolls, but like the California rolls or baked lobster rolls or something like that. And there's so many more obviously like kind of sushi, but I can't do it. Like I cannot take it down. Once I start biting, like that fishy taste gets to me and I just feel like I need a puke. So I don't like that. Most food I just, I love. Mm -hmm. You never get jealous. I feel obviously everybody gets a little bit jealous as much as they say like, oh no, I'm not a jealous person. You're gonna get somewhat jealous. Like I feel like I bring this one story up every time that we talk about jealousy, but I remember me and Myra at the mall and some guy was like checking her out. I wasn't like instantly like, yo, what, what are you doing, blah, blah, like, you know, like just starting stuff. But I was just like, okay, like it's normal. People are gonna see people, whatever. Every time we would go to like another corner, I would like catch that he's like staring over here to us, you know? I kind of, I guess, lost my cool and like he's walking by me and I like pushed him into like a clothing rack and he like kind of fell off to the side. And I, I forgot exactly what I told him. Yeah, you know, like jealousy is normal. That's, this stuff happens. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I should have got two of these odors. Honestly, I'm surprised people eat so little. Say the day comes and one day I get a meal after me. That would be amazing if I did. But you guys would get a freaking drink, fries, a burger, chicken, nugget. You like, you name it, you know? A shake on the side too. You don't just get just one Slurpee or one drink on the side. You're gonna get the ice. You're gonna get, look, I always have DP on the side, but you know. But I feel like just one little meal is just not enough for me, you know? Mm. Probably be the last little question because I'm pretty much almost done. This one says, you're a daredevil. Honestly, when it comes to like dares or something like that, yeah, I guess, you know, I, I do most dares or depending what it is too. I'm not just gonna obviously just do anything, but if I see that I'm like, you know what, I could do that. Like I'm gonna push myself to do it. If you guys saw the whole one chip challenge thing, it burned, but as soon as I bit into it, I was like, obviously burning, but I was like, no, like telling myself in my head, like, no, you like, it's super, super hot, but I could keep like, keep it down like you know not puke out or freaking need my milk that was on the side or water whatever it is like I did nothing other than just eat the chip you know so I feel that was another reason too like back in the day when I would like skateboard it was just so much fun because like me and my friends would go all together and we would just dare each other to jump off certain stairs or hit a certain rail that was just dope if anybody skateboards if anybody knows a friend or that skateboards i'm pretty sure you kind of know they just have fun with it you know but yeah i guess you could consider me a certain little daredevil at times mm. bro Mm -hmm. This is already all melted, yo. <clears throat> well, pretty much that's it. That was the meal. Those were a couple of questions that you guys had or assumptions of me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Pretty much when this video is going up, it is going to be my uh, little 
My sister-in-law's birthday, if you guys already know, we had her here like the other week or something like that, Jasmine. So she is turning 14, so go ahead. I'm gonna leave down the link for her Instagram. I'm most likely sure she's gonna post a picture that day of her birthday, well, pretty much today. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, deuces.